speaking of Keanu Reeves, did you see that they're like bashing him earlier this week? Because of. Let's go ahead and read this really quick. I, I, I think this is pretty fucked up too. But the thing is that, they, you know, let's see, this is a secret life of mom, which is, I've never gone to this website before. Quote, he needs to shape up Keanu Reeves' blasted or chubby body while spending family day on a boat. So ba I, basically there's a photo of him like here, like he has a dad bod and he's hanging out with his, his family and shit like that. And they basically said, dude, he's fat, man. He needs to, he needs to get in shape. Uh okay, yeah. They basically body yeah. shamed them. So let, let's read this article. So while on a boat, a restful boat trip during his vacation, Keanu Reeves found some, found himself open to online negativity as certain individuals chose to critique his body, deeming him out of shape and lacking strength. Upon seeing images of him without a shirt, fortunately, his devoted fans swiftly rallied in his defense. Uh, inundating the online sphere with loving expression honoring his exceptional traits as a person. Keanu Reeves was spotted spending the holidays with his sister, Kim, in Italy. Amidst his Italian getaway, Keanu Reeves is making most of his time alongside his sister, Kim Reeves. A famous, uh, the famous star of the John Wick series was recently captured abroad, sorry, aboard the, um, the boat near the iconic shores of Capri, basking in the sun in the uh, sea's embrace. Donning khaki uh, swim trucks, and sporting a full beard, he exuded a serene demeanor while indulging in restoring Mediterranean swims. Uh, the photos from their fun outing showcase with Keanu in an uh, unguarded moment where they're leisurely pouring champagne and engaging in a heartfelt conversation with Kim. Well, I'm just going to skip over here. While having a good time, critics went after actor's body shape. Maintaining his physical well-being at the age of 58, Keanu Reeves remained in, in good shape. However, upon releasing his pictures on social media, some individuals opted for negative critique. Labels such as flabby and weak were hurled his way along with tips on a new haircut and returned to the gym. Some took their criticism further by stating that he had gained weight or noting that he appeared to be more appealing with his shirt on. That's fucked up, dude. Like, yeah. I, like the thing is that we, we, we know about like the Lizzo. Why don't you say this shit about her? Yep. This guy is like dad bod. He's like, he, it's, he has it's like, not even terrible. He's not even fat. He's just a regular yeah. dude. Yeah. Exactly. I don't it's know. Actually, man. I, that's actually more rampant here in the Philippines. Like celebrity life. It's like the moment there's a slight imperfection in you, you're mm -hmm. going to get bashed so hard in the Philippines. Like, Especially that's why I don't. That's why I really hate Facebook. It's like it's so toxic. It's like it's, you will see that a lot on Facebook. It's like for uh celebrities in the Philippines, like when they post on in IG or Facebook, you're gonna see a lot of comments like, "Oh, you don't." It's like that slight imperfection. People are gonna get so fixated on it, and they're gonna bash you so hard about it. Yeah, and not just not just celebrities actually. Even for yeah, for regular folks like me, it's like, "Oh, you're so fat now." Oh, you're so. Uh yeah, you you get it. It's like it's it, it's a thousand times worse here in the Philippines when it comes to that, like um, criticizing people's physical appearance because like, uh, celebrity life here in the Philippines is so um physically based. It's like they don't care what you say. It's more of how you look in the camera. I'm sorry for people in the Philippines who feel offended, but it's the truth. <laughs> That's yeah, really how like celebrity life's here. Yeah, let's see. Let's continue. There were even remarks urging him to improve his physical physique, as a typical, uh, sorry, as a typical in the realm of celebrity. Facing remarks regarding appearance is par on the course. Such as uh, comments inevitably hinge on personal inclinations and perspectives. Naturally, amidst his this feedback, there emerged fans who also expressed genuine admiration of him. Uh, let's see, continue going down. In the midst of the diverse range of reactions triggered by Reeves' shirtless images, his devoted community of fans showed an overwhelming degree of admiration and support. Social media platforms were flooded with uh, accolades for the actors, uh, which celebrated not only his skill, but his exceptional character. Numerous individuals expressed their admiration for his disregard for his unattainable standards. And this aspect of his personality garnered even greater respect and fondness. A sentiment was shared. Quote, his refusal to conform to unrealistic ideals endears him to me even more. So remember I said that there are a couple of people in Hollywood you do not attack? He's one of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 
like he's absolutely one of the people that like he's like dude like he didn't do anything he's one of those guys that that was spotted in new york just taking a subway with everyone right like it's it's crazy man like how, how do you feel about like this shit dude it's like imagine it, saying that he's overweight he should have a shirt on and then saying pieces of shit like lizzo is you know someone said it in chat uh what's the call again the like literally the embodiment of health right healthy at any size that kind of stuff like how, how do you feel about crazy ass people like talking shit yeah. like that it's it's unsurprising and it, it's uh, yeah like i said already it's like it's normal behavior in the philippine social media setting it's like it's so normalized like that's why i don't really like talking to many people here it's like because it's like it's you, you get into that conversation where they like to highlight your imperfections or you should live life the same way as they do or you have to believe in the same things as they do it's like it's not it's really uh I don't know it feels like you're getting lectured all the time. That's why I'm more of a herm. I live a really hermit lifestyle here in the Philippines because, mm -hmm. like, it's it's just so much crap that whenever I hear people talk, most of the times, like, it's all about your imperfections or what you can do better. Like, there's no fun in it anymore. It's like you don't have you can't have a good conversation with people or just have a lighthearted conversation about yeah, like like what we do, like we talk about. Uh, the crappy things in the entertainment industry or accepting people for who they are it's it's hard to find those kind of people now nowadays yeah so it's not that surprising yeah it's uh it's it, it's it's pretty bad is because a, a lot of things here especially here in the states like in you know like here in the u.s like they always show that um you know how he like healthy at any size kind of thing right it's like it, it's it's okay yeah. to be healthy and um you know like do, do not body shame people for it right like the reason why i'm talking about it is because you get this for right over here cosmopolitan th yeah, this is basically like, like teaching women how to do woman shit, and then said, this is healthy 11 women on why wellness doesn't have to be all uh one size fits all 11 women like it's just this is what yeah it's like like uh, hi hi hypocrisy it's like uh what's happening now it's like people are embodying the extremes of both sides like some like this the yeah, example of this is like you're taking on um you're yeah i already mentioned this before you're mixing uh self improvement from accepting who you are so it's like you're you're taking it to um that's come to the point that it's you le you will lead a much healthier lifestyle if you try to um reduce your weight try to get less fat but at, at this at the same time there's this other side of the people who take it too extreme like this, this reminds me of the YouTuber uh Nico Cado. I'm not sure if you're familiar, familiar mm -hmm. with him. He's like uh he used to be an extreme uh vegan, like he's vegan to the max, like the the best kind of vegan, like he's the ultimate example of vegans. Like um, but he, uh as according to him or according to a video I watched, like all you see, despite that, you can see in the comments like oh you can still do this better, oh you can still do that better. Then eventually he became uh br so burnt out of it. Now he's like, from being a vegan, he went uh, a full one eighty. What do you call that? What do you call that? Uh, Korean activity where you keep eating a lot. Mukbang. It's, yeah, Mukbang? that one. That one. Yeah. He be he became a content creator of that, so he became really fat eventually. So that's what happens. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.